Acorn Church is Pastor Brad and Laura. Good morning. We are in Kenya. Yes. This is day one of our pastor's conference, and we are in a Sudanese refugee camp. Uh, this past week has been a whirlwind, yes. but like nothing we've experienced before. No, we uh, were just in Uganda at the other refugee camp for South Sudan, and oh my goodness, the worship was unbelievable. When Brad and I and the missionary got out of the car, they washed our feet in a ceremony. That was unbelievable. Like, we stepped out of the car. Yes. And they put a chair down and said, wanted us to sit down. It was... I honestly didn't want to sit. I was so overwhelmed. Like, I should yes. be washing yes. your feet, not you washing I, mine. That's exactly actually what I was thinking. I was like, I want to wash uh -huh. your feet. Like, it was very humbling for all they've yeah. been through to be there and to be the first ones to come and to actually, like, train and work with them and interact with them. Yeah, what we didn't know, and one of the reasons they did that was because <laughs> we're the very first Nazarenes to come yes. anywhere in the world to train mm -hmm. them. See the kids behind us? Say hey. hey. <laughs> so everywhere there's everywhere there's a camera, yes. they gather because uh, they love to take pictures and they love to be on videos. Good looking. And the kids, kids here, they're so amazing. It's yes. just such a beautiful place. So we were in the camp. We, uh, we met our core church pastors there. Yes. Um, this was crazy. We started with two. Uh -huh. And now we have 13 churches in Uganda. And when we finished the conference in Uganda, um, I was getting in the van and uh, the pastor uh, that was going out that day, he was saying, we're, we're leaving. We're yeah. leaving in the morning to go plant more churches. We're headed to South Sudan and we are going to, there's a gathering up a group and they were heading out right then. Yeah. You want to talk about being like in the days of Paul and the New Testament. That's what it felt like. We're leaving now to go start another church. There, There's a move here happening among the Sudanese that yes. is honestly not happening. Maybe in China, maybe in Iran, but uh, I mean, they, they go someplace and they just start church after church. No matter where they go, they start churches. And these are not small churches. They no. will have 100, 200 yeah. people in them. And this one pastor was so inspired by core movement and the eight core practices. He said, I'm going tomorrow, like you said. I'm yes. going to go start these churches. It's just been exponential growth. And most of these pastors are young, like yes. 21, 22, 27. Yeah. Unbelievable how young they are. And they're like, no, I'm a pastor. I'm a missionary. Leading yes. churches of hundreds of people. So they're so desperate for we've, the training we've been so inspired by that yeah. because that's what brad and i started out doing uh, children youth ministry and to see the young people like up leading us in worship mm -hmm. and knowing what to do next and and what god has done through them being refugees is the young men and women have had yeah. to lead and they have grasped leadership and so that's why it's so important that we bring training because yeah. they need to keep growing and they desire that well one of the things that i have talked about i just felt like a word that god had for them is that they they weren't pushed out of their country but they were sent out like in acts chapter five Ooh. and they would just embrace that word to yes. know that like there would not be all these churches there would not be all yes. these people uh reaching all of these children that are gathering behind us if they were not refugees yes. and so even the, I mean, okay, so, but we cannot forget the struggle. It's so easy when I see all their joy to forget the struggle. So here we are today. We yes. Let me explain. Today we're in Kenya. We just started our pastor's conference. We thought, um, they, they said they were expecting like 250 to 300 people yes. to show up. Yes. And in the morning session that we just completed, we had uh, around 50 and we didn't yeah. know what happened. And right at the end, like 15 more came in. So we had about 65 and um, the leader of the church here wasn't here. And so I kind of was like, you know, in America, you, you just kind of like, you're trying to figure it out. And I leaned over. So a lady walked in and she sat down and she introduced herself to me during the session. And she said, I am one of the pastors. And I said, oh, and she said, we've been looking for water. Everyone has been going 
all around this camp, which is so large. There's, there's over 100,000 refugees just in, just, this, here. just in this camp. Looking for water. In all of the wells, there's been no rain. It's been uh, two weeks. We are in a desert. We are in yes. the desert. They've had no rain. All the wells have been running dry. They weren't able to come because they had to make a decision. Yes. I'm going to find water for my family. Yeah. Or I'm going to go to this conference. And so many of them are going to be coming this afternoon, but this is just a moment we just want to say be praying. Yes. Um, Serious. It is. Uh, Prayer for food and water. Yeah. It is so overwhelming and so difficult here for them. Uh, but they are such beautiful people. Oh, like, um, like this, is, yeah, this sister right here. So yeah. this is one of the leaders of, in, in one of our core churches right here. <laughs> She's 23 years old. And this is what I loved. I felt like I found my people here because the Sudanese people are tall. I have found tall people. <laughs> people uh, even look in the yeah, eye. Yeah. So, so they laugh at Laura because they, they say, how did you marry such a small woman? Uh, and so, hey, here in just a moment, uh, John Leonard is coming to speak. Yes. John, this is your home, buddy. The Sudanese yeah. people, you need to oh, come here. Yeah. They would love you, you my need friend. To come here. And we're excited for John because John grew up in this church when yes. we were um, children's pastor and, yes. and, and, and youth pastors. John grew up as a child, then as a youth, mm. and now he is a youth pastor in Fresno, <laughs> California. We're so proud of you. So John. proud of you, John. And he's coming to speak this morning. All right.